a very good morning dear students so we proceed with the reading of the chapter the adventure and uh, yesterday we read that uh, the professor gaitonde is going on with the different turn in history in this chapter so we stopped at this point at this point where we came to know that uh, the treaty or the agreement of 1908 lasted in the year 2001 between englishman and indian so british or india now gangadhar pant could not help comparing the country he knew with what he was witnessing around him in this sentence he talks about two different aspects of history one oh, that happened in reality means abdali became the victor and that is uh, second one is that is written in the book according to book who became victor maratha so but at the same time he felt that his investigations were incomplete means there was some kind of incompleteness how did the maratha win the battle now the question is according to the book maratha became winner now how did the maratha became the uh, win the battle to find the answer he must look for accounts of the battle itself so to find out the answer of this question he has to go through some books in which the account of battle of panipat was described he went through the books and journals before him it means to find out the answer he go through or went through many books and journals at last among the books he found one that gave him the clue then lastly he was able to find out a book in which some clues were given about this question that how did the maratha win the battle it was bau sahib banchi bakar and the book name was bau sahib banchi bakar that gave him some kind of point to know the answer of this question how did maratha win the battle although he seldom relied on the bakars <clears throat> for his historical evidences sometime he goes to bakar to find out some evidences some proof about bakar about historical events he found them entertaining to read so he found some clues very interesting to read sometimes buried in the graphic but doctored account okay and doctored account refer to the uh, you can say the complete uh, investigation of the graphic or the event that happened in history got it so doctored account refers to the complete investigation of the uh, incident of history then he could spot the germ of truth somehow he was able to find out the clue of truth he found one now in three lines account of how close vishwas rao had come to being killed now in the book of bau sahib banchi bhakar he was uh, you know uh, he got he got a point where it was described that how vishwasra was able to get away from being killed now these lines these three lines have been taken from the same book of bau sahib banchi bhakar in which the account of vishwasra or the incident of battle of panipat is described positively just see and then vishwas rao guided his horse this is a scene in the book which he was reading these three lines have been taken from that book 
and then Viswasrao guided his horse to the mill where mill means confused fight where the elite troops elite means the best soldiers were fighting and he attacked them so in this one he guided his horse to to move further and god was merciful got it a short brush passed his ears means a bullet came and it goes away very closely to his ear even the difference of a till means very little even the difference of a till means the same okay would have led to his death it means a very little distance or difference was there between the bullet and his ear and this way viswas rao was able to get life again because the god was merciful it means that it was a mercy of god okay this is the scene that he read in the book thereafter at 8 o'clock the librarian politely reminded the professor that the library was closing for the day it means it was 8 o'clock and for the time to close down the library library reminded him okay that it is a time to close the library ganga darpant emerged came out from his thoughts he came out from his thoughts because right now he was going back in history while reading this book of bahu sahib banti bhakar looking around he noticed that he was the only reader left in that magnificent hall which is the magnificent hall this is town hall in which the library was located so he was the last reader in the uh, in the library right now because it was 8 o'clock as the librarian informed him to leave because it is the time to close down the library as per the terms and conditions i beg your pardon sir he requested to the librarian <clears throat> may i request to you keep these books here for my use tomorrow morning so he requests the librarian to use that book these five books actually he had he had uh, may i use these five books tomorrow morning also in the same place by the way when when do you open it means he asked the time he asked the time to the librarian at what time he opens this library in the morning at 8 o'clock sir the librarian smiled the library replied the question that at 8 o'clock it means the time of the library from 8 am to 8 pm here was a user and researches right after his heart means right now as he got to know this answer at 8 o'clock suddenly the feeling of a writer researcher or a user user in the library researcher for the history or historical and and, and uh, a historian he was so his feeling came out from his heart as the professor left the table he showed some notes okay he showed some notes he showed the bhakars into some notes into his right pocket showed means post in rough way like sometimes we put our hanky without folding it properly this is called showed showed some notes into his right pocket absent mindedly without bothering something else he also showed the bhakars bhakar into his left pocket what is bhakar bahu sahibanchi bhakar so he tore some pages which pages on which this particular description was given then he found a guest house to stay in and had a frugal meal frugal means very small so he left that library right now and he came out he found out to stay a guest house or guest room and a small meal he took he then set out for a stroll towards the azad maidan now he stroll means you know, walking very slowly walking very 
slowly this is called stall slow relaxed walk that you can say so now he is going to towards the azad maidan then in the ada in the maidan he found a throng throng means crowd moving uh, throng moving towards a pandal <clears throat> he observed that in the azad maidan there was a pandal and there was a great crowd so a lecture was to take place there was uh, to be a lecture because pandal was also there and crowd was also waiting there force of habit took professor force of habit means internal force took professor gaitonde towards the pandal okay the lecture was in progress means the meeting was in was going on although people kept coming and going in this pandal people were coming and people were going but professor gaitonde was not looking at the audience he was not observing the audience he was staring at the platform platform means the stage stage as if mesmerized mesmerized means in his unconsciousness he observed only the stage there was a table and a chair but the latter was unoccupied table was there chair but chair was unoccupied unoccupied means there was nobody sitting on this main chair you can see the chief guest here, simply <laughs> the presidential chair unoccupied okay the main chair was free vacant you can say or vacant okay the sight stayed him okay stayed him attracted him to the depth means depth of taking the seat the main chair like a piece of iron attracted to magnet like a piece of iron attracted to magnet in the same way he swiftly moved towards the chair he got attracted towards the chair which chair that was kept on the stage and which was free or unoccupied the speaker stopped in mind uh, mid sentence the speaker stopped in mid sentence too shocked to continue but the audience soon found voice the speaker stopped in mid sentence means the who was the speaker uh, who so was the speaker he did not speak the complete one he stopped in between and the audience was soon found voice again there was a voice vacate the chair you know what happens right now ganga darpant went to the stage and occupied that chair which was presidential chair and one more thing the audience or the crowd was there who did not want to listen anyone so vacate the chair when he sat on the chair somebody told vacate the chair this lecture series has no chair person it means whatever the lecture was going on according to that the chair should be free it means they are they were there uh, to do their task but not to listen somebody by sitting or standing on the uh, stage this lecture series has no chair person away from the platform mr means this was the instruction given to professor gaitonde as he sat on the chair away from the platform means go away from this stage and chair the chair is symbolic don't you know then the person asked me this chair is only symbolic chair nobody should sit on this chair this chair will lead them to do something is a motivational approach you can see the vacant chair what nonsense whoever heard of a public lecture without a presiding dignitary then professor says this is what how could this uh, crowd be heard without any presiding dignitary means without any chief guest or the main person professor gaitonde went to the mic and give went to his view got it give went means to express professor gaitonde took the mic and started delivering his speech ladies and gentlemen an uncheered 
lecture is like Shakespeare's Hamlet without the Prince of Denmark. Let me tell you. He started speaking like, ladies and gentlemen, is it not possible that chair should be vacant like in a uh, like in Shakespeare Hamlet Denmark the Prince of Denmark is very important in the same way for the crowd or for the stage this chair or the person is so important to deliver lecture but the audience was in no mood to listen but the audience was very opposite to professor Gaiton day they do not want to listen tell us nothing we are sick of a remark from the chair or chair of what sort of thing. Means this audience or this crowd, they were fed up of remarks or the pointing out or the what of things. Means to say this audience, this crowd, they did not want anybody to come before them as a senior, as a leader or as an any personality to preach them, to lecture them of long introductions means this crowd was fed of a long introduction what of things or or early kind of remarks we only want to listen to the speaker the voice came from crowd we only we only want to listen to the speaker we abolished the old custom long ago okay we abolish we have ended this old system very long keep the platform empty please again instruction came to professor Gaiton day that please go away from this stage leave this chair don't speak anything to us we do not want any speaker okay like this but Gangadhar Pant had the experience of speaking at triple nine means 999 meetings and had faced the Pune audience at its most hostile. I mean, still today, 999 meetings have been attended by Gangadhar Pant and at Pune location, he has faced the most hostile, the most angry, you can say, audience. He kept on talking. He did not bother about these words like keep the platform, okay, don't speak any away from the platform, mister. But he kept on talking, means speaking or giving his lecture. He soon became a target for a shower of tomatoes, eggs and other objects. Very soon, the people started throwing like tomatoes, eggs and some other things on whom? On Gangadhar Pant or Professor Gaitande. But he kept on trying valiantly. But he kept on trying valiantly to correct this sacrilege. To correct this sacrilege. It means he wanted to uh, have a chance to correct the people not to throw eggs, tomatoes and other things on him. Thereafter, finally the audience swarmed to stay. Swarmed means moved around in large group. Okay, the crowd came to the uh, came to the stage, to the stage to eject, to throw, to push with force him bodily. Means lastly, when Gangadhar Pant did not obey all these people, did not follow these people, then some people came in group to the stage and they push him with force down from the stage and in the crowd Gangadhar Pant was nowhere to be seen and after that Gangadhar Pant was not seen in this crowd anymore it means he left Azad Maidan he was left he was made to leave simply I should say he was made to leave this Azad Maidan lecture by 
force with some people from the crowd okay dear children so today we stop here and i just summarize that in the library of other of this uh, uh, you can say town hall he read something in the book that book was bhau sahib banchi bhakar these three lines we read and after that he found a guest room he took his meal and then he found in the azad maidan the lecture was going on but there was no speaker so he spoke without bothering anybody but lastly he was kept away from the stage forcefully so i hope you have understood please keep on reading and uh, i'll be posting the next video with next part of this chapter thank you have a good day